Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys, and I have featured this guy multiple times. He is a Bolo finder. He always has really interesting Bolo items. So I hit him up every couple, four, three, four, five months. It just kind of varies. And I'm like, hey, I'm doing a round of videos. You want in? He's like, yep. And I send him my the pictures that I want, and he has them back to me within like an hour. So um, it's just super quick. So I'm going to tell you where he got it, what he paid for it, and what it sold for. These are Bolo items that he picks up at like thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, Facebook marketplace. He is a Bolo finder, and he is always outsourcing. He has a... Um, Facebook group, which I forgot to pull up. Let me pull that up real quick. Um, and it is a great Facebook group. Lots of good information. Um, and he, like I said, he is a Bolo finder for sure. Um, here it is. Sorry, guys, I should have had this done and ready to go. Um, all right. So it is, let me pull up the screen share. And it is called Reseller Research Group Flippers, Sellers, Thrifters, Buyers, and More. And this is what you will see, eBay Life. That's his, um, his picture at the top. I, I kind of have it expanded out to hide like the people's comments and stuff like that because it is a private group. So just for privacy reasons. But that is what it's called. I will link it down in the description. I will also link his eBay store and he has a YouTube channel that he kind of dabbles in. It's called HodgePodge, but it's hard to find. So I'll link it down in the description. Um, I should have had that pulled up. Also, I'm striking out, but let's get into these bolos. Um, let's start with the first item here. And it is, I just thought this was super cool. Um, this is a bread and butter item. It's a primitive crumb brush broom, straw metal twast, 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 handle. Should that be twist? I think that should be twist. I'm like trying to pronounce a word that's not a word, I think. What do you guys think? Should that be twist or is it twast? <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, it's twist. It's right here. So it's a typo in the title. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so funny because one of the other words he like showed me how to say it because he knows I pronounce things wrong. So he's probably going to get a kick out of the fact that I just was trying to pronounce this fake word. Okay. So this sold for best offer of $20. He picked up four of these for five bucks. So he's got a little over a dollar in this and um, the buyer paid the shipping on that. The next item is this. This is super, super cool. Um, these are play school pipe work. Um, and I think they're like big building to toys. So this is like 15 inches. Okay. And here's the front and the back. Now he had four of these, you guys, and each one sold for $32.99. Okay. Here's the next part. And I talked to you guys about parting things out. So that this is what he did. And I don't know if he didn't have the complete set. I typically do it if I don't have the complete set. But um, here's the next one. So these are the four-way joint connectors, the elbow corners. Make sure that's up. Um, and he has sold four sets of these for 32 each plus shipping. These are the three-way joint connectors. And there's seven of them. And this is just one set of seven. $70 plus shipping, you guys. How cool is that? And then you have this, which is, um, these are the medium pipe tubes. And again, I mean, he's got two photos, nothing fancy. I mean, they're tubes, um, but he's got the ruler showing the size. He has sold four sets of these for 25 each and still has nine left. These are the panel clips. He sold two sets at $39.99. These are all from that Pipeworks. Here are these. He sold two at $21 plus shipping. He has six left. 
$16 for two plus shipping. And that is it for the pipe works. And he bought about 500 pieces of this and he uh, paid $125 for all of it. So he is definitely going to make some money on that. So the next item that sold is this vintage Lisa Frank um, notebook binder. It's a three ring binder. He took a best offer of $50 on this. He picked it up at a garage sale for $2. And Lisa Frank is, it is definitely a bolo. If you can find Lisa Frank, you definitely want to grab it. Um, I mean, there is some range depending on what the item is and how old it is, but it's, it's pretty good. I, I've done really well with Lisa Frank. The next item are these Peter Rabbit library books. Um, they are new and sealed. And he sold these for $60 plus shipping. He picked them up at the Goodwill for $4. The next item, these are just too cute. I mean, how cute are these? Trouble and double. They are adorable. I can't take it. They're so cute. Double Trouble Posable Baby Orangutan Twins with wispy hair by Ashton Drake. He picked these up at a garage sale for $5 and he sold them for $60, best offer plus shipping. The next item is this vintage The Sun Rubber Company pink poodle. It's a squeaker toy. And I believe I just talked about The Sun Rubber Company in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So definitely head over there and check that out if you're not a member. And, um, member. Is that what it's called on Facebook when somebody joins? They're a member. Yeah. Anyway, there's a link down in the description of that also. So when you're joining his Facebook group, definitely join mine also. Links are down below. So it's a little squeaker and there you are. And this sold for $135 best offer. And he got this at a thrift store for a buck. How cool is that? The next item is this vintage Estee Lauder Cinnabar perfume. It's 1.7 ounces. And he got this at a private sale. He bought about 25 bottles of vintage perfume and he paid around $200 for all of it. So um, this one sold for $105. You can see it's partial. Well, he says new without box, but that looks partially used to me. Maybe it evaporated or maybe it only is supposed to go up that high because the lid does come down. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about that perfume. The next item that sold is this Art Deco lady and she's like a gymnast and it's a lamp. And let me get you. And she's, I mean, I guess nude in a sense. <laughs> I guess she's nude. Um, this, he paid $25 for it in a state sale and it sold for $265 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's definitely, um, kind of a weird pose for somebody who would be nude, but it's an interesting piece. We'll leave it at that. Art Deco. Good, good word. Uh, this vintage Indiana glass cranberry hen, um, yard sale. He did pay up for this, paid $20 for it. It's got kind of that cranberry color to it and it sold for $75 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage mid-century modern McCoy Pottery Black Panther planter. So pretty cool item. McCoy is typically marked, but I don't see any markings on this. But Eddie's pretty good with uh, pottery, so um, I'm sure he figured it out somehow, some way. Uh, he bought this at a thrift store for 3 bucks, sold it for $40 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Sanja. Schaefer Leather Feather Masquerade Mask Mardi Gras. How cool is that? Very cool. So he picked up uh, two of these for $45. So what, $22.50? Yeah, $22.50 each. And here is the other one. And he took $15 off of each one because the same person was buying both. So this one he sold for 95 and this one he sold for 135 if my math is correct.
but definitely a really, really unique, different, cool piece. Um, and they all are folk art, so they're probably one of a kind. The next item are these wire wrapping and beadwork books. They're like instructions, tutorials. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just instruction manuals. Uh, he picked these up for five bucks. It doesn't say where, but he sold them for $55 plus shipping. The next item is this Veracore Antique Violet Ray Machine Shock Hair Growth Quackery. So I don't know if it's something that's supposed to make your hair grow, but it's really, really old. It's very, very different. Um, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> like where on earth you find this stuff? Ah. Uh. State sale, that's where he finds it. $20 he paid for this and it sold for $135 plus shipping. The next item is this willow tree tree. Um, it's pierced metal and it is actually by willow tree, which I've never seen anything like this by willow tree. So definitely be on the lookout. I do pick up willow tree like the figures when I see them, but uh, this is different, something I've never seen. He got it at a thrift store for a dollar and he sold it for 40 plus shipping. The next item he sold are these vintage Ruby's Easter egg dye glass rabbit bottles. How cool are those? Um, he got these at a yard sale for two bucks and he sold them for $40 best offer buyer paid shipping. You know, that is the kind of best offer I like when they come in at like five bucks less. No kidding. Like, yes, I'll take your offer. The next item are these vintage Murano glass uh, candy pieces. And here's a picture. So they're about four inches. And he got these at a thrift store for $5 and he sold them for $42 plus shipping. The next item are these Elizabeth Taylor Avon Sea Coral Collection clip-on earrings. So you guys, they're Avon. They were sold by Avon, like an Avon exclusive but they're Elizabeth Taylor. He got $65 for those, you guys. 65, paid $2 at the Goodwill. The next item he sold is this vintage hanging shell chandelier. Um, it's like a handmade deal. And you can see, I mean, it's nothing, it's shells. It's made of shells, somebody made it. Pretty cool, right? Um, I don't know if I would have picked this up. It sold for $45 buyer paid shipping and he paid $2 for this at a thrift store. The next item, I love this one. It's Zach Designs. It's a divided plate. It's a, oh, I can never say this. Is it melamine, melamine, whatever that stuff is. Splatter confetti pink plastic. He has sold eight of these, you guys, for $15 each plus shipping. And he paid 20 for, he, I'm sorry, he got 20 of them for $10 at a yard sale. The next item is this vintage Beatrix Potter duck, goose, I don't know, puddle duck. It's a Jamima, Jam, Jamima puddle duck. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Royal Dalton. Uh, he got 12 of these for $25. Here's what the bottom looks like. So 12 for 25, what's about two bucks each approximately. And he got these at a yard sale. He sold this for $20 plus shipping. The next item he sold is this mall madness. This is for parts only. It is a board game. It is vintage. These do sell well. They are a bolo. I do have a bolo category video on board games. Definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it. He took a best offer of $60 on this Mall Madness game and he paid $4 for it at a thrift store. The next item is this early Kellogg candlestick telephone dated 1901. How amazing is that? He got this at an estate sale for $50 and it sold for $25. 25. I'm sorry, is sold for $225 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage watercolor paper. And he said that he bought, he paid a dollar per box and he has two available and he sold one 
and they came from a thrift store, $15 plus shipping. The next item is this squirrel purse. It's very, very different. The squirrel has a nut in its mouth, it looks like, and this nut looks like it's about to hit him in the head, and I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's a weird, it's a weird purse in my opinion, but somebody wanted it, and somebody bought it. Uh, $5 at a thrift store took 10 off. So he sold this for $55 plus shipping. The next item is this mid-century modern, modern yellow, amber, gold. Okay. Here's the one he told me how to say. M poly, M poly, M poly. I think I would have said M poly. So it's M poly. Uh, thrift store, $10. He sold it for a hundred dollars. He said it's a slow sale, so it's long tail and it's risky to ship. The next item he sold is this Pokemon Pokedex. It's tested and working. He got this at a yard sale for $1 and he sold it for $70 plus shipping. The next item he sold is this vintage 1920s cast iron and spring diamond envelope letter holder. Estate sale, $3, and he sold it for $35 plus shipping. I just thought this was a neat item. Um, never seen anything like it. Would I have picked it up? I don't know. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. The next item he sold, I love this. Okay, he was at a yard sale, and this was like, I don't know if it was sitting by the road, but it was in the free area. And you guys, it's dirty, and it still sold. Uh, I mean, look at it. It's disgusting. Eddie, wipe it out, dude. Wipe it out. I mean, I'm a lazy reseller and I don't always wipe stuff down, but I'm sorry if it looked like this, I would have wiped it down. Maybe it's stained. Eddie, is this stained or were you just being a lazy reseller? Anyway, it still sold and it sold for uh, $29 and the buyer paid shipping. And he actually sold another one. So same garage sale free. And this one is dirty too. It's not as bad as that other one. That other one is nasty. It's still got gunk in it though. He's like, I picked it up at a garage sale and I listed it while I was in the car. I didn't even clean it. No, I'm kidding. He didn't say that. But I got to give him a hard time because that's gross. That's gross. Yuck. Somebody's fridge junk. Okay. Uh, this one sold for 29 plus shipping also. The next item I sold is this vintage. I didn't sell it. The next item Eddie sold is this vintage Plues Tools Swing Spout. Um, it's an oil can. I cannot get over that. Uh, he bought this at an estate sale for $5 and he sold it for $65 plus shipping. I'm going to make the thumbnail and I'm going to point to it and be like, would you have cleaned this? No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so this is a Marvin Bailey, South Carolina I'm going to do something maybe with that. I don't know. I don't know if I should call him out that bad. I've already called him out in the video. Um, so Marvin Bailey, South Carolina palm tree pottery jug. Um, Eddie's really good at identifying jugs like this pottery type things. I always message him when I have pottery. I'm like, should I have bought this? I actually did it today. I bought this really, uh, I think it's really cool. I may end up keeping it. It's a uh, stoneware clay and it's an owl. And I think it's like hand painted. I'm not really sure, but I think it's really cool. Um, but he was telling me, I said it was $10. He's like, I'd do five because you can probably sell it for this, you know? And I'm like, I paid more than five. Uh, okay. He sold this for, he bought this for $45 off of a reseller in his area that does not sell online. So, um, Eddie scooped it up for 45 and he sold it on eBay for 140 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And the last item is this really cool Martha Stewart, uh, living hatching bunny Easter rabbit. And it's a copper cookie cutter. And he picked this up at a thrift store for $3 and he sold it for 35. All right. So Eddie has a fantastic store definitely go down to the description of the video. I will link it down below. Please check out his Facebook group. It's awesome. Um, 
and his YouTube channel. He does like some jewelry unboxings, which is not typically what you see. You usually see the women doing the jewelry box unboxings. Well, he is a man that does it and he knows his stuff. So um, you can check out his channel for that too, HodgePodge. And again, I will link it down in the description. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you at the next Bolo video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. When you guys comment, it helps bump me in the algorithm. So they say. So please leave me a comment, even if it's just, hello, I made it to the end. Just thumbs up, anything. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.